Well, we're just receiving news now that in addition to the killing of the American ambassador to Libya, his consular has also been killed. Now, these statements are coming from the Libyan Interior Ministry that says in addition to these two, there are at least two other high-ranking American officials who were killed in an attack, a rocket attack, on the consulate last night, Tuesday. We are also hearing that at least 18 people in that embassy were injured. At this stage, we have no further information other than that a statement which was released by the Libyan authorities said that the ambassador had died from suffocation. What we do understand is that an armed group stormed the consulate building. They set it on fire and by all accounts, much of this building has been burnt to the ground. In addition to this, eyewitnesses who were there said that they heard gunfire coming from both Libyan security forces and the attackers themselves. And we have seen some reports at least suggesting that some half a dozen Libyan security forces were taken from the scene in ambulances. There is very little known at this stage about the American ambassador to this consulate in Benghazi in Libya, other than the fact that he was the American envoy to the Libyan opposition during the revolution in that country, which certainly does suggest that you now have a situation where the rebels are killing their own counterpart. What we are witnessing more and more is increasing unrest and violence in these post-revolution countries that are receiving backing by the United States. Now, Paula, why such a violent reaction to this film? This, this storming and essentially what appears to be the apparent murder of both the ambassador and the consulate of the American consulate in Benghazi comes just hours after a mass demonstration of at least some 2,000 protesters in the Egyptian capital city of Cairo. What happened there is that an American film that was produced by an American-based company was released that many say was insulting to the Prophet Muhammad. Now, some of our viewers will be familiar with the name Terry Jones. He was the Christian pastor that was involved in the Quran burning that saw widespread demonstrations across Afghanistan and he too was involved in this film that he says was a satirical look at Prophet Muhammad but certainly hasn't been received like that, at least not in Egypt. Now what we had in Egypt was indignation, people taking to the streets, they pulled down the flag of the American embassy, they rep replaced it with a black flag that said there is no God but Allah. We know that, um, that Egyptian police are now on standby for further protests to Day, Wednesday in the capital city of Cairo. Police are gathering as we speak. At the same time, we're also hearing of demonstrations being planned in Tunis, the capital city of Tunisia. Both of these will be anti-American demonstrations, again showing just how volatile this region is, particularly in these post-revolution climate that has seen these countries in, a, an, in an instability, largely because of what has happened and a lot of confusion over the role of Western powers in the so-called revolutionary process. Right, that's Archie's Middle East correspondent, Apollos Lear, giving us the latest on the story. Thank you.